Hey guys, this is Rock King 3 being another commentary, Forza 5. And I want to do another comparison with the D to C class and the, you know, a D class to an upper C class and then a mid C class. Or in this case, it's going to be upper C class to the upper C class. Um, so what I want to do is I want to compare rear wheel drives this time. And what I want to do is a couple of muscle collars. And I'm going to stick into the Mustang brand here. So I'm going to compare this uh, 1969 Boss 302 versus the 2007 Shelby GT500. As you can see from the numbers, overall it looks like, except for the handling number, the GT500 kind of wins this hands down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to my test bed, go back to my multiplayer, and what I want to do is I want to set up the same Road Atlanta, but what I want to do this time is I want to set it up with uh, the longer track because it has a really long straightaway and with the muscle cars you always want to factor in the top speed so I want to add that extra couple of turns and the longer straightaway to the road Atlanta we'll cut it down to three laps and we will start with the old Mustang first bear with me a second I'll find that real quick it's going to be Road Atlanta, Road Atlanta Long, I think, is, it, is the long one. We're going to do three laps. We'll keep it that way. We won't put anybody else on the track. Yep, that's the one we want. And we'll start that up. I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison and see how we do. I've been racing with the muscle cars um, with a friend. And this isn't necessarily the best muscle car there is. But since it was in the Ford family, I thought I'd race them two side by side. I think the actual best cars in here are probably this, the older muscle Challenger. I think it's a 1970 Challenger. That's just my guess. I have not drove it, but I do see many of times on the top of the leaderboard with that car. Again, this first lap is just to kind of heat up the tires and get used to the car a little bit. Ooh, a little backfire. Still a little chilly on the tires. These muscle cars are really fun to run. And from an earlier video, I stated that if you're going to drive in career and race with traffic, that it's better to use a muscle car on the D-level classes. I haven't really tested it on the C-level classes, but it works really well for the D because you can get in front of people, and even though you can't turn as fast, you're in front of them. I noticed that when I use the smaller, more handling cars, that the muscle cars pass me, get in my way. So I want to just even that out a little bit. See kind of straightaway speed we get here. Ooh, fifth gear. It's like 143 before I slam on the brakes and looked away. Not usually too worried about getting the muscle cars in the lower RPM range because they have so much torque. Ooh. Ooh. All right, it's going to be a challenging to get a good lap out of this one, but we'll try. Right. I love how it says perfect turn. Very much doubt that that was a perfect turn, but. I will take it. Got to let off the gas a little bit there with this car. Got to break a little later here. There we go. Not a ton of speed through there, but... 
we will get better, hopefully in the last lab. This car is not too bad to keep straight. I'm going to downshift this time right here. Let's see if we can... There we go. We'll max it out. So a good acceleration in fifth gear, I like that. Gotta kinda dance to that corner a little bit so you don't spin out too much. Right, let's see if we can get this last room a little bit better. Hold off the gas a little bit here this time. There we go. There we go. 140.511. Not sure if that's good or not, but. Mm, try not to spin the tires too much. Hard to do. And I am not running any trash control or stability control on this car. Just doing our best to fight it and keep it between the lines. Okay, we're gonna break a little later. There we go. Broke a little later. Carry a little bit more speed through there. Not not quite as much as I'd like to, but. I think if we see a time split here, we should have a positive. We should be doing a lot better. I haven't been looking for it, but go downshift again to the second. There we go. Oh, a negative. We're not quite as fast. Or is that faster? I don't remember. Negative might be good actually. Be happy if we can stay real consistent with this track, with this car. There we go. Cut him, cut him, cut him. Go, go, go. Alright, let's see if we can get. I'm gonna, since it's my last lap here, I'm going to try to carry a little bit more through here. There we go. Oh, that was close. 13982. 139. 812, I think that's what it was. So I have raced this, this Boss 302 before, so I have a little bit of experience with it. I have never drove the 2007 Ford Shelby GT500 in the Forza 5 game. So we will see. I'm expecting to get some more speed out of that. Let me check that time real quick. 139.823. And overall, which isn't going to be really good, 507.380. All right, we'll leave that track and we'll continue. And go pick up that GT500. See how it compares. Now, overall, my driving impression of that Boss 302 isn't too bad. It's not too bad to drive. Um, it takes a little bit of work on the sticks a little bit. Um, but not too bad overall. And I wanted to select a car, not a track. There we go. There it is. And go. So again, 1.39.823 is what we're shooting for. So anything under 140 is going to be pretty good for this car. I think with the longer straightaway, we might pick up a little bit more time just because it's faster in the straightaways. Overall, they're pretty similar. This one supposedly doesn't handle quite as well with the upgrades. Um, and braking isn't quite as good, so I'm assuming we're looking at a much heavier car. And what I have found with the car so far is the lighter the weight, or about 10 horsepower per pound is about what you want for these D and C level classes cars. Definitely a good ratio. Definitely seems faster.
That red line comes up faster though. It must have a... I wonder if it's speed or if it just knows I can't brake as well. Man, I cannot turn this car at all. Little anchor here. Alright. It's just the first lap, so I'll try to warm it up here. I'm gonna downshift this time to two. Wow. You'd think these modern cars would have more traction. <laughs> this one's actually more difficult to drive. And I'm sure because this is more nearer to a stock car because it doesn't have the upgrades since it started at 495. Yeah, it looks like overall I'm gonna be a faster car though. I don't think I hit that that kind of speed. Okay. Man. Oh my goodness gracious. This is not going well. Yeah, I'm six seconds off the pace. Wow. This must be one heavy car. That's all I gotta say. Because it does not want to stop and it does not want to turn. I actually have to hit the brakes there, maybe. Oh man, I cannot make that turn. Oh, more traction, more traction. Not overly impressed. I'm gonna try to use the gears a little bit and maybe I can whoa maybe I can make it slow faster with the gears four and a half seconds faster than before so maybe this will work out a little bit better I will be surprised if I beat that old boss 302 with this though 139 823 to beat I just don't think I can beat 139 8 I can use the gears there a little bit. I'm trying. Man, yeah, I'm just. Ugh. I was tempted to downshift, but the torque in this thing just. I'm just gonna slow it down through here a little bit. 148, so I'm about a second off. I'm about a second slower. Hmm. I cannot get that nose to dive like I would like it to. So I got a full second to make up. I'm just going to try to use the higher gear. Try to keep it smoother. I'm going to go ahead and use the brakes there. Nope. Dang. Disastrous driving. This car needs some tuning up, and when you only have five PI points to work with, you just don't have anything to work with, so you have to pretty much run it stock. I'm trying to cut turns a little bit better, but let's see what I mean. You just come out of this too much like that. Too much torque. Good top speed. I like. I do like the the faster speed. Guess they're quicker. But the cost of the handling and the braking on this car is too much. I think. Mm. I don't think I'm gonna make it again. Yeah, 1442, I think. 140.2 something. So overall, a lot harder to drive without the with the upgrades. And overall, it looks like it's going to be slower. 
And the car got smashed up a bit. That's going to hurt. At least I don't take it away from your winnings anymore. And event results. Yep, 142.64. And then overall, faster overall, but that was probably just a first lap issue I had with the other car. So I think you have to make sure if you're going to use a rear-wheel drive car, make sure that you can do some upgrades on it because I need some more work done on this car. So again, D-Class, rear-wheel drive, muscle car, pretty good bringing it up to C. Have fun with you guys. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you later.